Hey, I'm Maddie Ray, and I want to share an encouraging scripture with you from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 through 3. Now, it's a little bit longer, but I think it's going to really encourage you. This is what it says in the King James Version. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Now I want to read these same verses, like I usually do in the message version, and you're going to see how clearly the scriptures state how we need to go about living our lives knowing that Jesus is there for us. This is what it says. Do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blazed the way, all these veterans cheering us on. It means we'd better get on with it, strip down, start running, and never quit. No extra spiritual fat, no parasitic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race that we're in. Study how he did it, because he never lost sight of where he was headed. That exhilarating finish in and with God, he could put up with anything along the way. Cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there in the place of honor right alongside God. When you find yourself flagging in your faith, go over that story again and again, item by item, that long litany of hostility he plowed through. That will shoot adrenaline into your souls. You know, Jesus is the greatest example that we could ever see. When he came here on the earth, he showed us what life was to really look like. He showed us what it meant to be completely submitted and obedient to the Father. For the word of God said that he would only do what his Father said to do. He would only go where his Father said to go and he would only, he would only say the things that his Father told him to say. He was a great example. Jesus was the greatest example of faith, of coming here on earth and doing what he was set out to do, what he was created and called to do. He ran the race and he finished it well. No matter what he had to endure, the cross in all, he did it because he understood that the will of God was greater than his own. I encourage you to look to Jesus this way, this week. When you are maybe struggling with your faith and you're struggling with different things that you're facing and you don't know if you could keep going, look at Jesus. He went through so much so that we, we could have him as our Lord and Savior so that way we could be forgiven of our sins. So lay aside every weight, lay aside every burden, lay aside every sin, lay aside everything that's trying to throw you off and distract you. And like the scriptures say, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. For if he could do it, then we can do it because we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Let me pray for you. God, I pray for my friend that's on the other side of this screen. And Holy Spirit, I'm asking you that if they need strength in their faith right now, that you would give them a boost of strength, just like it says in the message version, that you would shoot adrenaline of faith, God, into their souls where they know that they can do all things through you, that they can keep their eyes on Jesus. And if Jesus was able to be here on the earth and do what he was called and created to do and finish this race, then so can we. So we look to your example, Jesus, and we thank you by through the power of the Holy Spirit that we can do all things, that we will go into this week with the mindset of your will be done, not our will, but your will. We thank you for that strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if this video encouraged you, as always, I want you to share this either on your story or with a friend so that way it can encourage others to go into your day or into their week just with strength knowing that Jesus is with you. Thank you so much for taking the time with me. God bless.